Yo, Ethiopia, Africa, mm? the motherland of Africa, the one I love, love and peace. Guys, if you're new, stay connected with us. We are available. And also we just opened our TikTok account as well, Swahili Nation. Uh, I realized a lot of people from our Horn of Africa, they use TikTok. So whenever you share with anything related to Swahili Nation, don't instead tag us. Use the name is official Swahili Nation on TikTok and name is Swahili Nation. It's right there. We are available then. Um, I'm going to come back to do reaction today of this song of Hannah Tekle. I received this suggestion from my brother Sadeke and the song is about, uh, the song is about, she sings, she says that God is our comfort. We rest and we become at peace through the word of God. Everybody loves God, all right? You guys love God, regardless of different religion, because you want to break the, those cycles, you know what I'm saying? That I'm from this, I'm from that. Regardless of that, God is our refuge. God is our comfort. And when we believe in God and when we believe in His Word, we are at rest. That's a fact there. No cups. No, no, no cups, all right? We are at rest when we believe in that. And this song at the beginning, I appreciate Sadeke. At the beginning, it start with the with the uh, with the with the line with the proverbs with the with the scripture in the Bible, Proverbs one thirty three, and it says, "But whoever listens to me will live in safety." Dang man, I should listen to God and be at easy without fear of harm. Whoever, but whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at easy without fear of harm god help us to listen to you help us to listen to you because whoever listens to god will live at safety and be at easy without fear of harm man this is just my favorite scripture right now from today i'm gonna leave with this i will share my instagram as well i'm gonna leave with this from now, whoever listens to me will live at safety, in safety and be at easy without fear of harm. So are you fear of any harm? Do you, you feel like you are not at safe? Do you feel like you're not at peace? Oh, do you see that you are in that situation? Well, let's listen to God together. God knows everything, man. And whatever that we are going through, man, God can take us away from that. God is our hope. So healing nation is not a hope. Mika MC is not a hope. Your government, your people, whatever it is, it's not your hope, guys. Anyone will let you down. Everything will let you down. Some of you are already right now feeling disappointed because I'm talking about God. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to stop not talking about it. So everything, everyone will disappoint you. But when you listen to God, you will live in that safety. What we need right now, and I pray for you guys, I pray for Ethiopia, I pray for Africa, that we will have peace in the midst of chaos. There's so many bad things are happening, but I pray that we will still have peace because having peace doesn't mean there's a, an absence of chaos. You can have still have peace even in the midst of chaos because God is right there with you in that situation. He's with you guys. All right, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead to do this reaction. I feel like I'm preaching today. And some of you don't like it already. Um, let me run right away and do this. All right, I'll start before ten seconds, and I hope Hannah Tekle, uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna give me strike because I cannot find email. I was trying to reach out to her to ask for permission, but I cannot find email. So I hope I'm not gonna be, you know. Anyways, guys, let's go. That's the whoever listened to God Proverbs one thirty three will be in peace. All right. I don't want to get emotional, guys. And I need to do this for copyrights, guys, because I'm not allowed to do this and I didn't even receive permission. Oh. Dang. <laughs> I'm gonna, man, I haven't got those bumps for a long time. I feel like I'm gonna get this today. Hey. The mighty lesson. Did I ever do reaction for this girl? Hannah Tekler? Oh. 
I'm loving this song, man. I can feel the presence of living God. Mm. Oh, my Lord. Come on now. God is good, yo. Worshipping, you can. There's no beautiful thing than worshiping God, man. No beautiful thing. Mm. Pray for peace. Pray for love. Pray for unity. Pray for safety. God is peace. God is love. Then He loves you. He loves me. He is with you. Hey. God, He has not forsaken you. He is watching over you day and night. He will always stay. He's right there beside you right now. Come on now. Hey. 
This is music, man. Presence of God. The music is good. Video is good. Give me peace. I need you. For my brothers and sisters in Ethiopia, in Africa, I cry for peace. I cry for unity. I cry for love. The love of God. That's all we need, man. That's all you need. Come on, God. Let me say this, guys. I just hope that, you know, Hannah Tekle uh, and her management are not gonna take down my video. But, you know, I do reaction. We talk a lot of things about Africa. We talk a lot of things about our countries. But let me say this. One thing it will get us through crisis anytime it's prayer man it's prayer we can try to find ain't like we can we can try to use our human wisdom man we can try to use our system we can try to use the policies and everything we have man but if you have people who do not fear God they will not fear man they will not fear government. They will not fear anybody. If you have people who fear God, then everything else is solved. Everything else is solved. I will share another scripture. I understand you might not be Christian and watching this video. It's fine. It's not about Christianity. Right now, it's not about that. It's not about Christianity. It's not about religion. But it's about our belief with God. It's about that belief and belief it doesn't have religion the faith you have in God it doesn't have religion and we are all connected with that so what I'm trying to say is the Bible says if my people who are called by, by my name will humble themselves seek my face repent I will hear from heaven I will come down I will heal their land I will heal their people I will heal everything that is there if my people who are called by name, if you are that person who called by the name of God, God created you, God formed you, you are you are in you are his own image. If you humble yourself, you repent and you pray for your family, for your people, for your country. God says, I will hear from heaven and I'll heal their nation and I'll heal their land. This is the promise of God. And God, he never promised wrong thing. He always fulfills his promise. He's the only one who fulfills his promise every time, all the time. If there's that condition, if, that means if you're not doing it, it's not gonna happen, if. So this is my request for everybody out there who is watching this video. Guys, let's repent. Let's seek God's face. Let's repent for ourselves, repent for our family, repent for our forefathers, repent for our ancestors, repent for our government, repent for our leaders, repent for our country, repent for our government. Let's repent and let's ask God. Let's pray. However you're going to pray to Him, however, I don't care how you're going to pray, repent every religion, everybody believe in repentance. We believe that we are sinners. Repent, guys, for things you know, for things you don't know. And let's pray, man. Let's pray. God, he says, I will hear. That's a promise. It's a promise, man, and you always fulfill. God is not a liar. He's not a liar. He's not a human being. The Bible says God is not a human being that he lies. No, he's not a liar. He's, he's the father of truth. Devil is the father of lies. That his language, that's who he is. But God is the father of truth. Let's repent. Let's seek God's face for our nation, for Ethiopia, for our continent. Let's seek for Afghanistan. Let's do that. Let's repent for that nation. Let's repent for brothers and sisters there. And let's pray.
and God it will do man he will do man I I wish I can open more about my personal things that I'm going through but I cannot do that I cannot open right here but God hears man God listens man God answers man God God shows up man God shows up but you just need to be in that frame man I don't care who you are I don't care what maybe you never call the name of the God before but as I know whatever that's going on right now, it's affecting you, it's hurting you, it's making you hung, angry. So the best thing we can do, man, one thing that it will take us from this point, man, is repentance. Let's repent for those people who are killing our brothers and sisters, who are killing our people. Let's repent for those people too. Let's say, God, we're coming before you. I'm sorry for what we're doing to one another. I'm sorry. For the lives and the, for the bloodshed in our country. I'm sorry. We're repenting for them. We're repenting for me. I'm repenting for my government. I'm repenting for everybody. Let's do that, man. Because at the end of the day, we are all responsible. I am responsible, man, for what is happening there. You are responsible for what is happening there. Everybody, we are responsible, man. We are supposed to be brothers keeper. We are responsible. Maybe what is happening because I, I was not praying enough. Maybe it's because I didn't repent for what I was doing. Maybe because, maybe because, but we cannot afford to have maybe, maybe. The best thing we can do, man, is come together with one voice. Because there's no limit in prayer, man. Whether you're in Ethiopia, whether you're in Tanzania, you're in Somalia, whatever it is. Come back with one voice, repent, and asking God, cry for our nation, man. Cry for our continent, cry for Ethiopia, cry for Afghanistan, cry for, for everything that is happening, man. God will show up. 100%, no cup. God will show up. God bless you. I love you guys.